Hey guys, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today I'll be reviewing the first episode of Scooby-Doo R.U. Season 2, which is titled Nowhere to Hide. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into the review. <laughs> so the episode opens up as we see uh, Mr. Hyde uh, breaking into a jewelry um, um, a jewelry shop. I guess you, it's the ghost of Hyde, um, not Mr. Hyde. Ghost of Hyde. Um, that was my bad. Um, but uh, yeah, he steals a necklace. Uh, basically, creeps back down the wall. Um, the police guard is alerted, uh, but he gets away. He runs, um, to the malt shop where the gang are, and he hides in the back of their mystery machine. Um, then inside we see the gang eating some ice cream sundaes, and, uh, Scooby's up to his usual tricks, eating Shaggy's and everyone else's, um, sundaes. Um, but, um, when they, uh, then go into the mystery machine, they're heading back, um, I guess, back to their houses, I'm, I'm not really too sure, anyways, um, that, um, uh, on the, on their way back, uh, Scooby finds the, um, um, the ghost of Hyde hiding behind, uh, like the beach, um, the beach blanket, um, and, uh, then he alerts the rest of the gang, and the ghost of Hyde then scares everyone out of the van, um, he runs into the marshes while the gang hide behind a, a fallen tree, um, they decide to go follow him, so they follow him to this mysterious looking mansion, um, looks very, very spooky, anyway, he goes inside, um, and the gang decide to go, uh, the other way round, um, to make it a little bit different, but they, um, get trapped by, um, uh, the, uh, floor in the, uh, by the, like, a trap, um, and on the mat of the, uh, back door, um, and, uh, when, when the gang, um, realise where they are, they're inside this mysterious chemistry lab, and, uh, there they meet Dr. Jekyll, um, and he explains to them that he believes that he is the ghost of Hyde, because he's running an experiment, he decided to test it, um, but he keeps on waking up on the floor, and his housemaid, Helga, keeps on finding him, and he has heaps of mud on his shoes, and then he reveals what he had in his pocket, um, later, um, that he found, uh, later that night, uh, the necklace that the ghost of Hyde stole, and the one that he was holding when the gang saw him run into the marshes, and they, and the necklace he was holding when he followed, when they followed him, um, to the house, um, and he gets pretty, pretty spooky from this point, and the gang, um, get kind of creeped out, and, um, they ask permission to, uh, split up and look, um, for the house, um, because they saw the ghost of Hyde go in, and, uh, he gives them permission to do so. So Shaggy and Scooby go up, uh, to the attic, um, now they're messing around, uh, Scooby, um, and Shaggy, um, they look inside this, uh, chest, um, full of, like, old costumes, um, and Scooby tricks Shaggy, um, uh, with his, um, fake, um, mask, and, Shaggy gets really, really scared. Uh, Scooby then gets really, really scared when he looks inside the cupboard and sees uh, the reflection of himself. Um, but Shaggy tells him that, you know, it's, it's alright and everything. After a few more clowning around, after opening fake doors and um, being messed around by shadows and mouses, um, they eventually um, meet Helga, um, the, uh, the uh, maid um, that... Um, Dr. Jekyll was telling, um, them about earlier, um, and she was basically just dusting the, uh, attic, um, with all the cobwebs, um, 
But then uh, we cut to Daphne, Velma, and Fred, and they're inside Helga's room. Um, and inside Helga's room, they find um, a burnt little note saying Helga the Great um, inside a fireplace. It reads, famous acrobat and trapeze artist Helga would give a special performance on her human fly act. Um, but you can't read anything else, and it shows a picture of her um, in, like, this dancer's costume, um, and they think it's kind of weird why uh, an acrobatic like her is working as a maid in a haunted house. Um, and then we cut back to Shaggy and Scooby. They're inside a library. Um, Shaggy picks off a book off the wall, which is um, 101 uh, Ghosts and Ghouls, um, but unfortunately he runs into the ghost of Hyde who is hiding behind the bookshelf. Now he chases him into this room, Shaggy and Scooby are hiding behind this little TV um, when the ghost of Hyde um, take, um, uh, turns the TV on. Um, Shaggy and Scooby are dressed up as um, characters and uh, pretend to be on TV. Um, but the ghost of Hyde soon realises and chases them, um, and they fall down this little, um, staircase, they smash into Velma, and they go through this little chute, um, Shaggy smashes into this, uh, little desk, and in that desk, it's, um, the ghost of Hyde's, uh, jacket, um, a dry pair of muddy shoes, um, sorry, a, 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 a pair of shoes that have fresh mud on them, um, my bad, and a, um, the, the brush that Helga was using to clean, um, the attic, um, so they think they've found enough clues, um, but just to make sure, um, they go back to Helga's room, but Shaggy decides, oh, it's a bit too scary, so he decides to guard the fruit bowl, um, and eat all the fruit, um, and they find, like, um, inside, um, like, under her bed, they find, like, um, knockout gas and um paint and everything and then shaggy comes into the room saying he found something really weird in the fruit bowl but then the ghost of hyde grabs him and runs away with him um then after a little while the gang realize what happened and scooby just panics um and then it's cut back to the ghost of hyde he's with uh shaggy uh back in dr jekyll's lab he's tied up and on a desk um, and Sco and uh, Ghost of Hyde is threatening to turn him into a frog, then Scooby bursts in for the moment, and then this is the chase song. Um, they've brought, um, well, I guess you can't really say they brought them back, because it's Scooby-Doo, I, I still got a little bit confused there from when I was reviewing Be Cool Scooby-Doo reviews, but yeah, the first episode that actually had a chase song in Scooby-Doo, um, it's called Recipe for My Love, if you want to check it out, uh, but yeah, a few cool stuff happens in it, um, you know, Shaggy still being tied up. Scooby and the ghost are like arguing, like, oh, like they're trying to control him. Um, and yeah, they are, they go through many rooms, you know, do all that kind of stuff, which happens a lot in chase songs. They um, go outside and they get chased by an alligator. Um, but Shaggy saves them thanks to Scooby's uh, Scooby snacks, and that's really all that happened. <laughs> Like, <laughs> 
And then once they crash and the song ends, um, Shaggy tells the gang why the ghost was after him because he found suction cups in the fruit bowl um, and there was four, four of them and um, yeah, the ghost grabbed him because he obviously wanted them back. Um, and then Velma um, realises who the real ghost of Hyde is and uh, Freddy gets ready to set a trap. Um, now, the trap is a little bit different this time because Shaggy and Scooby don't have to do the most dangerous thing. Well, I mean, they technically do. Um, they get his attention by making fun of the ghost um, and he lures them into the trap, um, which is where uh, Fred, Daphne and Velma are pretending to dress up as the ghost as well. Um, and he runs uh, to the back door and falls down into the trap that the gang fell into earlier. Um, now, unmasking the ghost... It turns out to be Dr. Jekyll, um, as Velma suspected, obviously. Um, now, the reveal, Dr. Jekyll uh, dressed up as the ghost of Hyde um, because he was, um, you know, committing um, crimes after his um, experiments always failed. So he decided to turn into a life of crime and steal jewels and necklaces and everything like that. Um, now, he purposely um, led the gang to... Um, uh, he per uh, I don't know why he'd jump into the back of a band saying Mystery Machine, but it was almost like he was luring uh, the gang there, to be honest. That, well, that's what I thought, anyways, but that wasn't the case. Apparently, it was a mistake by him. Um, pretty pretty silly mistake to make, but, um, yeah, he, he was just basically framing Helga. Um, once the gang showed up, he realised that he was screwed, so he had to frame Helga as the only, uh, only other person that it could possibly be. Um, so he told them the fake story about him pretending to be the ghost, um, and revealing that he had, had the necklace, um, and put the, um, fresh pair of shoes, um, in that little cupboard with, uh, uh, Helga's brush to frame her, um, and he would wear, um, a pair of shoes that had dry mud, the ones he was wearing last week, um, as, uh, Mr. Hyde, um, to just throw off suspicion, um, but didn't really work. Um, and then, of course, the big clue, the, the suction cups. Because Helga was a famous acrobatic, she wouldn't need um, suction cups, would he? Um, so he hid them in the fruit bowl, but when Shaggy found them, he realised that he, they were going to reveal his plan, um, and he had to kidnap him. Uh, but then everything backfired, and he got captured. Things are right. It should be Helga, the housemaid. So it really was Dr. Jekyll behind the ghost of high jewel robberies. It sure was, Sheriff. When all his crazy experiments failed, Dr. Jekyll decided to turn to a life of crime. But one thing he didn't count on was us following him into the marsh. And like when he figured he might be caught, he came up with the idea of framing Helga the maid. Shame on you, Dr. Jekyll. First he told us that phony story about the formula. Then he planted a bunch of fake clues for us to find that would make it look like Helga was the ghost of Hyde. <laughs> His plan almost worked, except that Shaggy found the suction cups, which turned out to be the real clue. But when he tried to get them back and keep Shag from telling, everything backfired, and he ended up caught in one of our traps. But why were the suction cups such an important clue? Show him, Scoob. Okay. Dr. Jekyll had to use the suction cups to scale the buildings. If Helga was really the ghost of Hyde, she wouldn't have needed them because she was an ex-circus star. Hey, like, look! Scoob thinks he's a circus star, too! Oh, no! Scooby's gonna fall! I gotta admit, that's some act. Scooby! Um, and, yeah, the, that's the end of the episode. Um, yeah, I give this episode a 10 out of 10. What a way to start a new season of the show. 
uh, with one of my favourite episodes. Well, so far, definitely my favourite one. This is such a fantastic episode. The Ghost of Hyde was very, very spooky. Um, the start of the episode as well, I thought it started off brilliantly. Um, don't know why I'd go into the back of a van saying Mystery Machine. Um, I don't really know why he would do that, but again, that's that, that's got nothing to do with the episode um, overall, so... Uh, that doesn't really bother me that much um, in terms of uh, ratings. Um, yeah, like I said, the ghost was perfect. Helga and Dr. Jekyll were pretty great characters as well. I um, thought the gang um, as well, um, moving um, scene to scene, was also very good. Uh, the spooky atmosphere of Dr. Jekyll's house was very, very creepy. Um, made a great place um, to set an episode. Um, I think it was a mansion. Um, doesn't really matter, really. Um, but yeah, it's just a fantastic episode. Um, the swamp as well. I didn't mention that. Um, the swamp that, uh, the ghost ran into, that was pretty creepy looking. Um, so I wish that maybe filmed a little bit in there, um, to be honest, but didn't really matter, to be honest. Just a fantastic episode overall. Um, and I also speak about the soundtracks. Uh, yeah, the soundtracks are a fantastic idea in my opinion. And, yeah, this one's definitely one of the best ones. Um, pretty catchy as well, um, once you l watch the episode quite a, lo a lot. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I'll be reviewing the next episode, which I believe is um, uh, Mystery Mask Mix-Up. So, yeah, uh, stay tuned for that episode, and I'll see you guys then.